Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a mini album to share for Simple Stories. So I am using the extremely beautiful Simple Vintage Indigo Garden um, and I'm making a mini album. So I have uh, photos of a day we spent with friends um, and we um, had giant bubbles. Uh, it was a day outside in the garden and uh, there were, it was bubbles galore. So I decided to go for a circular shape for my mini album. So I have spent some time already um, cutting out uh, a whole load of circles from the pattern papers. I used the six by eight paper pad um, and um, I've also used um, the simple vintage Indigo Garden Basics 12 by 12 papers. Um, I don't think I've used any of the other 12 by 12 papers um, because I was able to cut most of them from the, um, the six by eight. So I've used metal dies and I've cut various sizes. So I've cut two large size circles and the idea is that they will be layered together. Um, and then I have cut um, another smaller size um, circle for my photos. And I've cut a lot of my photos into uh, circles of one size and then a smaller size again. So I have lots and lots of different size circles going on in here in this album. So the idea is I'll layer one big one and one slightly smaller one together, as you can see there at the top. Um, and then I will use the little smaller circles for my photos and they will um, tuck into the pockets that's going to be created by these first lot of layered circles. Um, so that sounds complicated, but I promise you it's really not. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm just having to be careful about which papers I use because there are some that uh, don't work on the back. So, so um, some of the six by eight papers are patterns, but then on the reverse of the patterns, there is um, three by four journaling cards. So that doesn't work um, when you're cutting out a circle and it's on the back of something um, because then you have a mishmash of the journaling cards. So I just had to cover those ones um, with another circle. So on some of the um, pages, we've got two circles stuck together so that the um, the reverse side is um, looks right. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew in place the pockets and I'm going to sew them in a semicircle um, so that the top right corner, if you like, of the circle. I know that circles don't have corners, um, but you know what I mean. Um, that is where the discs will slide out from. Um, so I'm just going through and layering up all of my circles and working out what looks right, covering up any backs that don't look right. I've also cut um, two um, uh, acetate circles as well. One is a large one and one is a smaller one. Um, and they will um, have... Um, that will, I will turn those into a shaker pocket. So they'll get stitched on top of one of the circles or two of the circles, because we've got two, um, and I will um, turn those into shaker pockets. Um, I have one of the chipboard frames. Um, it's the smallest one in the kit, and I've mounted a photo inside that, and that just about sits on top of one of my circles. Um, that, there it is there, that chipboard frame there. Um, so um, I'll have that sitting and have that kind of like a feature page, if you like. So that page won't have a pocket, um, but... Um, that one, that that frame itself was just too lovely to pass up and it was going to fit inside the album. So I decided to go for it, even though it totally doesn't go because it's a, it's a square shape rather than a circular shape. But uh, that that's okay. Um, I like having different elements, different sizes, different shapes. Um, so I have really used the um, Indigo Garden chipboard clusters. They're a fairly new product. They started coming out in a collection maybe a year ago um, and um, they ha have been released in some of the um, Simple Vintage um, uh, collections since um, and um, I really love them. I think they're really, really beautiful um, and uh, they're great for layouts but they're also really great for mini albums as well. So um, I'm going to use one for my um, front cover that's the yellow one's going to be used for my front cover. And then I wanted to use the other, there's another two of the same size. So they're the, the big circle size, basically. So it goes really well with this mini album. Um, so I have, um, I'm going to stick two of them back to back and they, that will form my back cover. Um, so the first one, the yellow one, will form my, my front cover and then I'll cover the back with um, some pattern paper um, or another circle. Um, and uh, the other ones will be stuck back to back. So I won't need to worry about that. 
Um, this frame, of course, the reverse of it didn't look right because I've got a photo on the back um, and uh, the chipboard on the reverse is naked chipboard. So I had to sort that out. So I've just backed that with um, a green pattern. And then I will stick it onto a circle, which will cover up quite a lot of it, but there would still be bits that would stick out. Um, so that's why I covered the back of that, um, of that photo in the frame. Um, so, um, so yeah, so I'm, you can see what I'm doing. I've got all of my pages kind of laid out. I'm, I'm working out what's going to go where, what goes with what. And I've also put some embellishments in place as well. So these are from, the ones I've got out so far are from the chipboard clusters. So I wanted to make sure I used everything um, from that pack because I was really focusing on those in this mini album. Um, so I've just gone through and placed each um, chipboard piece because they're not all the same circle they're not all the same circle size there's some different shaped things as well so those two hearts the flower spray and um, they are from there too so um, I just wanted to um, make sure that I got those all in place and kind of allocated and then I could add keep adding and building on these layers um okay so I've skipped forward now and I've done this machine stitching so I've used a black thread and I've used um, just a straight stitch and I've gone round um, and sewn all of the pockets in place. I've also created the two shaker pockets as well. So I've got the one at the top. Um, I think there's some off camera at the bottom. Um, my work desk wasn't big enough to show you everything on my desk. Um, so uh, I think there's a few missing out of sight. So sorry about that. Um, but uh, I've made um, a smaller shaker pocket that's going to go on the front of the pocket. And then I've made a bigger shaker pocket um, that um, will be um, the entire page. So the, uh, a bigger page. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's all coming together quite well. I'm happy with how it's all looking. The pockets are working really, really well. Um, and um, I'm just looking to see if I can use any of these um, uh, journaling elements from the, the 12 by 12 paper. So when I said earlier I didn't use any 12 by 12 papers, I was wrong. Um, I have used um, some of the journaling cards from that sheet. Um, oh, there's the second shaker. You can see it at the bottom right. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I've used a few journaling spots from that pattern paper and I've just placed those on top. Now, of course, these pages, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do at, at this stage. I want to add, I'm not sure if I'm going to add photos to them or if I'm going to just have them as purely decorative um, and then just have my photos inside the pockets um, with the little discs. Um, but um, what I decided to do in the end is that I actually, I actually have so many photos from this day um, and there's so many beautiful photos as well that I decided that I wasn't going to have enough room to put them all inside the pockets. So some would have to be kind of little layouts um, and some I could just uh, add photos. Um, I've cut, all my, as, cut as many as my circles as I can into circle shapes, some small, some bigger. Um, and uh, but then there were some photos that I couldn't cut into circle shapes. You know that, that some photos just don't work um, in circles because you're cutting off the subject or they're in the wrong part of the frame. Um, so um, some didn't work as as um, circles. So I kept those ones as uh, small portrait photos, and I created little booklets for them to go into inside um, some of the bigger pockets. So you'll see that um, and how that works in the flip through. I don't think I do that on camera. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm just carrying on building up all of my little, little elements here onto each page and um, getting all the larger embellishments in place. Um, and I do quite a lot of prep work before I start adding my photos um, because I'm th at this point, I think I'm thinking that I'm just going to decorate the front of each of the pages um, and just keep my photos for inside the pockets. But in the end, I had so many photos that I needed to um, add some to the fronts as well. Um, okay, so I've moved on a little bit. So I've got all my photos are sorted now and in the right places. I've placed them onto the pockets I want them to go in. Um, I'm starting sticking them to the circular discs and adding the little um, ta uh, ribbon tags. So with the ribbon, I love ribbon in mini albums. I think, think that it gives a really lovely tactile feel. So I've just taken a piece of ribbon um, and uh, folded it over so I have a tab and then I've stapled it in place onto the little disc um, and I've actually stapled it onto the back. Um, the staples show though on the front which is which is fine um, and then I've just decoratively sliced the back of the ribbon so that um, it's in a slant um, and therefore if anyone looks at the back of those discs um, the ribbon does not look messy, it looks fine. Um, but it does appear on the back of the discs. And I could write extra journaling on the back of the discs. Um, and uh, 
but I haven't done so far. I've actually just kept my journaling to the two little booklets um, that I have done. Um, so, but I could absolutely write more if I needed to. But to be honest, I don't. I don't really need to say a huge amount about this day. It was a lovely day. Uh, we played with bubbles. The kids played on the climbing frame. We did bouncing on the trampoline, um, and that's all pretty obvious from the photos. So there's no huge like special stories to tell. It's just that we had a lovely day. Um, so okay, so get in there. You can see that I'm adding my photos. That they're sliding in and out of the pockets nicely. Um, I'm happy with how it's all looking. Um, here, skip forwards a little bit further. You can see that I've got um, all of my pages are pretty much complete, um, and um, I'm just going to put pop them all onto um, a book ring, uh, and that will pretty much be this album finished other than I would like to put some more embellishments onto the pages but you can see how the album came together um right um I am going to um go over to a flip through now so you can see everything in a little bit more detail um just to let you know that some faces are covered or pixelated because um I these children do not appear on social media or not mine mine do but the other ones don't so that's that's why in case you were wondering Okay, so here is a flip through of this completed album. It's pretty chunky, as you can see. Yep, very chunky. It's huge. <laughs> um, but uh, okay, let's have a look. So the front cover is one of the chipboard pieces. I have the word bubbles written on there. Um, and uh, that's just with the um, alpha stickers. The rest, of this, the rest of this is the Indigo Garden. This is one of the chipboard pieces. I've just got um, pattern paper on the back. Then this page here. Um, so they're all circles and we have extra smaller circles and then these bits pull out. So I have photo there and then little booklet. Yeah, unloads like that. Okay, so they just slot back in there. Okay, and all the pages, or most of the pages follow the same format. Okay, so some of them have got little layouts on, but not many. They are mostly done like this. So this one is shaker pocket. And then we have two little photos inside. There's room on the back of all of them for journaling if need be. That was just plain. This one, again, we have photos in uh, little extra photos inside all decorated I've used the um, brads I've used the um, sticker book I've used the foam stickers I've used layered stickers okay another little booklet there's only two in this little mini book big mini book <laughs> all right so they that's very it's exactly the same as the previous one um, in terms of size and how it's bound together or held closed. And that's lots in there as well. Um, then we have this one, which is another shaker pocket, another photo, and that doesn't have um, a pocket, that's just as is. We've got a little layout on this side. Then here I've used one of the chipboard frames. And then here, one of the lovely phrases just cut out into a circle shape. Then this one here, again, we have little circles that pull out. I love the tabs, they look really lovely. Then pretty on the back there. Here, got three little bits in here. So I've got photos, photos, and then that one's just decorative. And on the back you could write on them if, we, if I wanted to. Then bloom where you are planted. And here, another photo, lots of layered stickers on here. And in here we have, again, more photos. So like I said, almost every page follows the same kind of uh, pattern. Then have a little, uh, little layout on there, one of the um, banner stickers. And this one, yellow page, photos and more little photos, all little decorative bits on there as well. Plus they all have the tabs, the ribbon tabs. 
and then move on to the back cover which is one of the another one of the chipboard um clusters and uh reverse is chipboard cluster as well and that is it all done so it's, it's a pretty chunky there we go very very pretty it's fun to make very fun to make and lovely love how it turned out Okay, so I hope you enjoyed seeing how that turned out. Um, I feel like I've used every um, item of uh, uh, in this collection. So I've used ephemera or bits and pieces. I've used uh, floral bits. I've used some pattern papers. I've used chipboard stickers. I've used chipboard clusters. I've used foam stickers. Um, I've used layered stickers. I just feel like I've used everything that, that Simple Stories made for this collection. Um, so <laughs> uh, it was a pretty epic album, as you can see. I don't have a huge amount of the collection left now. Um, but I love making it and I hope you have enjoyed seeing it. Um, so thank you very much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Simple Stories using Simple Vintage Indigo Garden.